How's it going? Oh my God. Come on in. We're so excited. I'm so excited. Uh, Hi, everyone. Oh, I'm so happy to have everybody here today. I'm um, very excited to be here with Beck and to go over everything of what we've done. And what do you think, Ann? It's been, what, a month, six weeks, maybe? I've had the house a little over a month, so it probably wasn't that long ago that you were here. It was only three weeks. Yeah, it, it hasn't been long. All right. We've, we've been moving quick. Yes. 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 She's, been, she's, she's been pushing. Oh, my goodness. So where do you want to stop at? Things are looking really different. So we can start in the in the kitchen here. Okay. Close this for now. We've done a lot. We changed up a lot of the cabinets, moved them around, shifted so that way the stove would fit just right. Painted the cabinets black. Put some brick on the backsplash and painted the room. And then, oh, there's a lot going on. We have a bunch of new wood all around the trim. So, Beck, why don't we, we start to where the cabinets had come over all the way here. So we ripped the cabinets out because the whole kitchen had to be designed for this stove. Yep. And right now she still can't use it because the uh, plumbers had to um, run a line for gas because it's half gas, half electric. Oh. So it looks like an old stove, but when you open it up, it's brand new. So she hasn't used it yet. <laughs> so I thought the this pot was actually going to be gas, but when we were just reading the book, only the top here is gas, and then this half is electric, and then at the top, you have your light, a clock, and a vent, which is pretty neat. And then, oh, your oven temperature's here. It's the first time I really look at it. So the story with this piece is that we fell in love with it. We were saying, what, two, three years ago back? Yeah. We were at um, a place in the Cape that is kind of like a reuse it, and someone donated it, and they had it done in Vermont, but she had ordered it for her house in the Cape, and it didn't fit. So she just donated this um, to uh, Habitat for Life or something. So we looked at it. We hoped Beck would like it. So we, we purchased it that day, but it still needs to be buffed up and clean. We're trying to figure out what to put under the feet so it doesn't dig into her new floor. So we're still working on that. Who, may, who makes these stoves? What's I will, the manufacturer on I'll, I'll get it off the book and, and let Cook's you know. Cook's Delight. I don't know. Yeah, it says Cook's Delight by oh, yeah. Elmira Stove Works. And then I think this was hand painted, right? Somebody. It was, and she signed it. <laughs> so anyway, we haven't started decorating. And then this was the beam that I was working on with John, one of them. Um, and then Beck picked out the black, um, I want to say handles, they're not, they're uh, brackets. The only thing is that we're going to take spray paint, and then you put spray paint on a brush, and then we're going to just dab here on the screws because I don't like gold. So that's kind of popping off to me. So that will be fixed. That's on the list to do. And then we were having problems with the cabinets. At first, Beck picked, uh, what color? I was going with like a, a white cream color and I started to paint the cabinets. I was like, no, no, <laughs> this is bad. This is really so bad. So she's calling me, she goes, mom, I hate this. I don't, I don't like the color at all. And I said, okay, calm down. Like, it's just paint. We're going to figure it out. She goes, but I don't know what color. And, I was stressed for sure. I was like, the white just didn't look right with the stove and then the color of the walls. So I was like, okay, I'm going to Ace Hardware. I'm going to talk to somebody. I'm going to get a bunch of different colors, samples. And then I rolled them out on each little cabinet door. And I ended up, I was like, I love black. Well, we also saw black on Pinterest. We were looking at some farmhouse style black cabinet mm -hmm. kitchens and, um, and she's got a lot of space at the top to do bigger things. Um, she loved that basket, although she's not prim. That's a, a beautiful basket. So we just kind of stuck it up there for now. And she did like the black buckets, which originally I had thought for the bathroom, but they don't fit on the shelves. And we'll, we'll show you that after. So right now she put them up there. I thought little Christmas trees would look cute in them. Ooh. 
Mm -hmm. adorable. Yep, just to pop off different heights of Christmas trees. And I was thinking little like green wreaths like on the cabinet doors to give it a pop of color. I thought that would be cute. So now we were kind of discussing, not arguing, discussing because <laughs> originally she had picked out black candles. So I thought black on black would just kind of fade and you wouldn't see them. I was thinking like a, a, a brown rust, but she's still loving the black candle. So I think she's going to try that for now. Like, I don't, I don't think it looks bad. That or I like gold, but she hates gold. But, oh, you know. I don't think that looks bad at all. I, I, like, I like the black. I still think it looks nice. So we're and I bought them, so why not? So, <laughs> why not? You, can, you could always rest them up if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah. So then uh, the windows were all white, so we ripped them off, and then we used the same wood that we used for her barn doors that Becca and I went to, um, and we went to an 1820, was it 1825 or 1725? I'm not sure. Very old now. home out in Douglas, Massachusetts. And we found the wood on Marketplace, and she let us just go through all the piles of wood. And we just handpicked everything, and I made Becca pull the wood out with me. And maybe we got a few slivers, splinters. It was fun. It was fun. It, it, was, it was definitely fun. And we're going to show some different pieces that she found that the lady called yoga blocks. And we actually used those um, for mini shelves. So we're going to talk about that. I think we, yeah. we got a lot of uh, memories going through this. Now this piece, we saw, to get, uh, I saw it and I called back, I go, I fell in love with an island, but I don't have room for it. I think it would be great for your house when we build it. She goes, come on, mom, really? I go, you need to come to this country <laughs> store and see it. She goes, country store. And then when she saw it, she actually fell in love with it. And then it was on a primitive place uh, video. Uh, it's the, it they looks like the same exact one, but the amount of storage in this with all the original handles, I can do pots, pans. I just love this. It's so, instead of having the collect all at the top, you're, you're gonna have a lot of drawers to do it. We didn't know where to put the trash can right now, so I just kind of butted it up at the end, but even the end pieces on this are beautiful. So then, let's talk about this, Becca, the front now. Yep. So. I love it. I love that you can see all the grains, beans, rice. You can put anything in it to just give it a pop of color and it just looks so pretty. So we were talking about what does she want to put inside of it. I'm afraid every time she, she takes one out, <laughs> it's going to break because how do you replace something like this? So these were um, allspice, which the girl who's making all the tea cakes at Bumpkins, yeah. I saw them in her kitchen and I go, oh, where do you get those? Like, I can't get them around here and they smell wonderful. And she's like, well, you can have the rest of what I'm cooking with right now. And she just let me have this. It's not enough to fill it, but I go, how nice is this? Yeah. So I'm gonna let you put it back in. I'm like, I get very nervous with this piece. So Hello. she <laughs> mentioned, so we were just talking, she's mentioned maybe um, corn, different types of corn. Yeah, like dried corn. And I forgot what else we came up with. I mean, there's so many different types of beans and things. Coffee that... would be nice, too. We could mm -hmm. do that. Um, so I think she's loving this piece. I, we just did a centerpiece for now. So I let her, just for the, the video, and she's trying to host Thanksgiving. When I met you at Walker Homestead, and this was the piece I bought this day, this mustard yellowish trencher. It's nice. But it could have gourds in it. What I really wanted to do and to take through Christmas, what I was going to do at my house, we'll see if this comes back now, was white pumpkins, which she, you're going to see there through her kitchen and in her laundry room, but maybe even a Christmas tree with white pumpkins. Because I think white pumpkins can roll right over to Christmas, but we, we just didn't have time to do it all. Um, I've only been in here like a week, you know? Yeah, this has been a week. This is what we could put together for everybody. And I said, they're we're not trying. looking at home decor. We're looking at what we've done so far. And uh, let's keep going back. Let's show, you can, okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, we got to talk about the brick. Oh, we talk, talk about oh, oh, yeah, the brick. So I was at Floor and Decor when I saw this brick and I was just like, it's gorgeous. Like, I didn't know what I wanted for a backsplash. And I've always just been drawn to brick. And it's, I wish I, I have it's to get called, the it's Boston, called Boston Mill, I think, or yes, something, I Boston think. Mill. And I, I just, I loved it, everything about it. And then we went with a cream grout 
and they have the grouts dark there one. for you to pick through. Oh, they do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they okay. make it really easy for you. But I think it matches the walls perfectly and it just gives that right pop that goes with the cabinets. It looks good. Well, and, and the brick goes really well with the stove. Yeah. 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 And then let's talk about your other stove because John, who's been on the video now, we said we just brought him this stove and said, John, I, I love this stove. We had it. We were going to put it in t if we built her a house. But we did get it on clearance, so it's got like a, a minor scratch, but she doesn't care. It's it's a first home. And he said, I'd have to build her a cabinet for it. And I said, okay, let's do it. And at first it was gonna have just two big pull-out drawers. And he said, I have to design it a little bit different because we need to get the doors at the top. So he actually did the, the doors, but she's got, oh, she's got some food in here. <laughs> stocking exciting. up, stocking so up. So he, he, did, he did this with uh, some pull-out drawers for her. So you can just pull them out, but she could do pots and pans in here yeah. also since they're right near the stove. I'm so proud of you. Nothing's Becca. permanent. You know, I can switch things up, right? Yeah, I'm just trying I'm so to figure proud. it out. She's got some food in my house. <laughs> uh -huh. Things are getting crazy. Yeah, and the refrigerator here. just got rolled in a couple days ago and it keeps getting pulled out to, to paint the cabinets and the, the walls only have the first coat. So her father has painted everything for her in the house, the ceilings, the walls. And he's telling her that there's more painting in here than in the condos that we're doing. And we're painting the last two condos ourselves. So he's, he's very tired of painting. He's, he's got paint on him all the time, but he's- I did very, paint these cabinets though. Don't she worry She did, about that. she did the first okay. coat on the cabinet. <laughs> I did the first coat. I did good. Yeah, and then he he's said, very nervous. <laughs> yeah, he but said, he, I'm taking over, finish it up, make sure it looks good. I said, all right, whatever, that's so fine. Do, that's you, fine. do you want to pretend you're cooking and, and pull this down and just <laughs> let's get you in here. I want to vision this. Wow. Oh yeah. I can feel wow. it. <laughs> I can't wait just to come I, I over to, to eat this something. Out. It's super high tech. It has assisted cooking, cooking methods. Like wow. I don't even know what all this stuff is. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. So and tell me about this light. Where did you guys get that one? This was, was, it way this was Home Depot. Oh, Home Depot? It's pretty cool. Yeah. I love it. And it matches the light when you first come in the front door. And we thought the wheels on the top would match the wheels um, oh, yeah. on the bond door. Okay, yeah, because the little wheels on the high. Too. Yeah, Cammie, come on out. <laughs> Cammie's here. So we're, 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 ha we're having a mother-daughter day. So I have my daughter and Anne has her daughter and uh, we're just loving it. So. So yeah, this door. Love the door and Becca and I argued quite a bit about the header on this door saying I I don't want a big header. I said, Becca, this is like a 10 foot door. Like you are going to have a lot of weight and how do I, how do we brace this door? So I'm in here with the finished carpenter and John's just standing there going like this going, okay, what's just tell me what to do. And she's saying the head of this door should match the height of this frame. And I'm like, that's not true. You don't have well, to I, do that. I wanted it to look even, like if things weren't symmetrical and off, like it would have bothered me. So at least the top there is even. But I said, I need, I need enough space to be able to hang this door. Like this door is heavy. It's so huge. We must have argued for, oh gosh, a couple days. On yeah, we it couldn't decide. We were, and the carpenter's so like, I need to know. What are we doing? I was like, I don't know. I was so stressed out. I was like, I'm about to just give right. up. Right, and on then it. she's giving me pictures on Pinterest of exactly color of wood. So I'm trying to match the picture and then make a frame on it. But it really did come out nice. And again, this is all old wood. Well, no, this isn't old wood. We no, had to we, make this look old. That. All of these panels are old from that house in Douglas. And then Becker and I um, stained everything out here in her garage. So, and I'm not in love with, the, I love the handle, but I'm not in love with the color because if you step back there, you can't lost. see the handle at all. So I, I'm gonna paint it black so you can at least see the handle, but we're gonna keep the handle. I love the handle. Oh, yeah. I got her the handle at Hobby Lobby. So other people could get the handle. All right, so, and it really works. Uh -huh. So, and we're gonna go to the tree next first. All right, let's shut this off for a minute. Let's talk <laughs> about this tree. Okay, so this tree was my first tree that I bought with Tim. We had to be, maybe 19 or 20 years old. 
We bought it at Walmart. And back then, I think it, it might say it on the box, I think it was $99. And Tim looked at me and goes, that tree's so expensive. I go, I know, but we're going to have it for years. And it did have more snow on it. And every year we put it together, you get snow all over your clothing. And over the years, um, as Sam got older, he, we went with a fresh tree or we were kind of putting the tree aside. And then Becca over the years said, no, I love the tree. There'd be fights. She goes, no, take the tree down. She'd wear her dad down till he carried this heavy box and we did the tree. So then a few years ago, she said, no, we're not getting rid of the tree. The tree's coming to my home when we build it. So she's inherited the tree. It's, I, I love this tree because it's just got so much family history on it. But then when we're here now, she didn't like the lights. And she's like, Mom, you need to fluff this tree. I'm not a good fluffer. It's, it's, not, it's not one of my talents. She, she's better with the fluff. So I get stuck fluffing the tree, <laughs> getting all the snow all over me. And it's been 31 years, I think, with this tree or more. Because Sam is going to be 33 in February. So we've <laughs> had this tree for a long time. But I'm like, mm, I'll do it. I'll just do it because she wants me to do it. So I'm going to strip the lights off this week. I will fluff this with grubby clothes on, and I'm going to replace all the lights. I'm glad that's not a pre-lit. Can you imagine how many lights we've gone through? Yeah. So, and then she'll just decorate it. I, I forget now. I know you have some of your own decorations, mm -hmm. or is she going to steal those from our house and <laughs> take those with her? Maybe a um, Whatever it is, this is going to be Becca's first tree, and I just want her to love it. And um, it's, I think it's going to stay in the kitchen, right? Yeah, I think. We, might, we could kitty corner. She's got options of what to do here. But um, the tree's very special to us. And we'll have to send a picture. Uh, or she could do a video maybe of us doing the tree so everybody could see the, the, the yeah, bumpkin's tree. Yeah, I think tray. on Thanksgiving, once everyone's here and we're done eating, I like the tradition of decorate the tree together so we'll put some music on and I'll bring out some ornaments and we can all gather around and decorate the tree. I think right. that'll be fun. And she was getting very confused. She's like, yes, I'm having Thanksgiving, but now we have the tree here and the tree was still up. She never took it apart last year. <laughs> and I go, oh yeah, I was telling uh, Louie who helps me, I go, the tree's going. Like, I'm not working around this tree. Just bring the tree. And we've already had to sweep quite a bit. Yeah. So uh, more to come on this tree, okay? So, Becca, after you, it's your, your house. So this is one of my favorite rooms that people probably won't see that often. But the laundry room, I love everything about it. So the house didn't come with cabinets, so we went down to um, Home Depot again, and I bought her two 15-inch, just your basic white standard cabinets, because she's on a budget. I was going to say, I think those might be 12 inches. We want even smaller. Well, he wanted 18, the... so I think we went with 15. All right, we, we could measure them. Either way, <laughs> the, the, we went smaller than what John wanted. Whether John knew or not, he didn't say anything. And then John came in with me. She wasn't here that day. I had to work. You know, I got to pay for the place. She's got to pay for the place. And then, so she had the rusty handles. I'm like, John, we're, we're going to throw those on. I had rusty screws uh, that you can just buy in bags. And I said, we're taking more of the old wood from what we've been using to build the barn doors. And I said, we're going to incorporate it in here. So we took a real large piece to make her the shelf. And she found something just like this on Pinterest with watering cans, birdhouses. She bought um, the washboard. Did we have this one or was it yours? I might have brought it. So when she was at work and John was doing this, I went to Bumpkins and I kind of borrowed some stuff. <laughs> and, uh, and people are going to say in the video, it must be nice to have a mom who's got a store and who has product. But um, sometimes we disagree, though, of what she's putting in my house. I'm like, this is my house. And that's like the fun part, the decorating. And I just come home and she's like, oh, I did something. And I'm like, yeah, she's not like, happy okay, with me. All right. Like, I, I love this. It's beautiful. So, but some things I've been like, mom, I don't want that in my house. It's too primitive or there's she, things we fight about. Don't, yeah, don't worry. It's, it's not, not it's all. Not all yeah, you know. it's not all flowers and hunky dory. There's, there's been some issues. But she liked this. <laughs> She kind of liked this, I and do. where she didn't, I said, you know, you can just pull the, the pumpkins later, or we can pull this, or she can change out the wreaths. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of like a fun spot, and we were arguing today. I'm going to show Ian <laughs> what I bought. I just came home from Pennsylvania. 
and um, I showed her this piece that I found, and I said, look back, it's got laundry room on it. It's got an old piece of wood. I go, we could put it here. We, we could put it behind Anne. And what'd you say? It's a little funky. I don't know. It's just not for me. It's she didn't like, like it. I, it's okay. I'm, just, I'm not in love with it. So I said, okay, it's going. So it never hit the store. It never hit here. So this will just be something new at Bumpkins. So I'm okay that she didn't like what I picked out. I'm not going to so, love everything. No, someone, someone else will, will love it. All right. Watching right now, they're, they're like, give me, give, store, give me that. Give me that right now. Yeah. <laughs> so you can show them what we're still working on here. This, it's not this done. This bathroom's kind of still a disaster, but they did just do all the shiplap in here that I'm going to paint white because that was one of my big things I wanted, some shiplap. I'm just obsessed with it. So once that's painted, it'll look completely different. It smells good. Yeah. We still got to paint the vanity. I'm not sure exactly what color I'm going to go with. I was thinking maybe a brown. But then again, I might go, I'm into the black now. I was all white, brown, now I really do like black and I might paint the mirror to match. But it's, it's slowly coming together. A little at a time, I figure out what I actually like. Show them behind the door what you found out that you didn't even know. Oh yeah, so the, the closet that I found, and I, I, didn't, I didn't know it was there originally, and then he took the trim off because it was white to make it all match and blend. And then I got this towel rod. Okay, so where'd you get the towel rod? I think I got that at Hobby Lobby. Huh. Yeah. And then this I have just had for years and it matches. Yes. So I well, like, I actually got it for her and it was in her bathroom at my home and she took it with her when she was leaving. She goes, and I'm taking this. A couple things gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the Grinch, I gotta steal it. <laughs> All right, keep going back. So this will be the spare bedroom. This was the bed that I originally had at her house. It was, you know, I had a real industrial theme going on there and I wasn't sure if it was gonna go in this house and look good. I thought about painting it white, but I'm glad I didn't because it's light in here so it gives it a pop of color. So one of the things, Anne, all the times that you've done videos at my home, we've never actually seen Becca's room. Never. Never. So when you go off my kitchen, there's a door in the foyer and you'd go down and her basement or the, the whole length of my house is refinished downstairs, but we never really got around to decorating it enough to show downstairs. She has a pool table and uh, she was flipping out one night. She was on the phone with her best friend, Brett, going, oh my God, I just came home and they're, they're rearranging the downstairs. I'm not even moved out yet and like, they're decorating. I'm, I'm, I'm not even evicted yet. Like I got time. I'm trying to clean out this room and move into my house. I was like, I got another week, don't I? And she's like, nope, you're out of here. So they're already redoing the whole basement. I'm yes, like, okay. I, well, I'm out of here. We just happened to find some brand new pieces of furniture, and I got excited. And so we want to take the whole downstairs and now make it a family room. You know we're not big on television, but my little mud room when you first come in that TV will go downstairs, and uh, we're already, in my head, it's already decorated. I think that'll be a cozier living room than that mud room, because it's so cold in there at night, and it's just not... Well, you not just got to turn the heat up in there, if I'm not in there it's during just, the day. There's something about it. Well, you didn't like the couch. You, you said we can't sit in there oh, yeah. as a family. She, she has no comfortable couches. Like, I want to <laughs> relax, like, kick my feet up, get cozy with a blanket. Well, now I can just come here and do that. Yeah, of course. Just come on over. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to get change the locks on the doors. They'll be here all the time. No privacy. Yeah. So I invited um, a relative over the other day. She goes, what are you doing? Like, things aren't clean. He can't come in. And it was Tim's cousin. They were doing a guy's day. And I go, how's it feel? <laughs> like, I, I, this is like payback. Parents pay that. So she's like, Mom, you're going to have to help me pick up. And it was really just paint cans and rollers and all of that stuff. But I'm just like, it's not finished. I don't want people to come in and judge and be like, hmm. hmm. So but it's, it, it was fine. It, it was all good. Yeah, it's I get it in my all, head. all good, but there's going to be some payback. You know this, right? Oh, I do know this. Oh, how many times she brought friends over and I hear the music downstairs. Oh, I'm going to come here at 6 in the morning, just crank the music right up. Get up. Let's go. <laughs> It's fine. So it's it's, it's not gonna be all right. This, this is the truth behind the scenes here between the mother and daughter. And so this, I'm gonna make my little sitting room because I didn't 
keep the half living room in the kitchen because I want a ginormous kitchen. These are what she was talking about that the lady was calling little yoga blocks. Oh, yeah. And then the carpenter made it so I could put them on the wall. John. Yep, John. Yep. We couldn't have done mostly any of this without John. Oh, yeah, he works magic. He Anything I wanted, he, he's like, I can do it. Just show me John a picture Gibson. of what you want. Yes, yeah. who helps with the condos. He's amazing. I have a friend named John Gibson, too, so that's how Aww. I remember that. Yeah. So, and then this piece, uh, no one's ever seen at my house. This was the first and the last piece that I've ever built with my father. So we called this the Charlie cabinet. And um, his garage had no heat in it. And we worked on it for days. My dad never built a cabinet. I didn't know how. And we were trying to piece it together. And I just, I'll never forget the night. My hands were frozen. I, I couldn't feel my fingers. My feet were frozen. I go... Dad, it's okay if we don't get it done. No, Lane, I want you to, I want you to have this piece. And um, it went right down to her room, and it's never seen the light of day upstairs. And she was pulling it, and I, I said, I made that with my dad. And her father's like, that's your mom's piece with her father. And she goes, I know, but I love it. And I just said, just take it. It just matches so nice. It, it looks beautiful in here. I didn't realize that it has a little green yeah, on it, but it, just, um, it matches perfect. I, I don't, I won't ever make another piece with my dad. We made a lot of birdhouses and shelves, but this is the only piece. So she, I know she'll never sell it. If she's bored of it, it will, it'll come back home. I didn't realize that it had green on it because I don't like green, but um, <laughs> I, I like it here. And she's right; it, it does match. It was, it was meant for here. Yeah. Very so. Nice. Very. And, this, I, and I love the green of this room that I picked. I think it looks good. And this was a piece that I, I sent out. I think Jack and Ellie built the bottom for me. I fell in love with the suitcase. And she had this down in her bedroom. This just sits on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you used it as a, like a little coffee table. Yeah, so once my couch comes in, I think I'll put the couch on this wall, put that in front of it, and I'll put the TV up over here somewhere. Tell me about your couch. So I got it on Amazon. I was like, I'm trying to save money. It might not be my forever couch, but it was like 300 something dollars. And then it opens up into a bed. So if I have a bunch of friends sleeping over and I need more room, yep. easy enough. Mm -hmm. And I liked it, it was cute. If you go into any store, you're spending thousands of dollars on a couch. So I was like, Amazon comes right to the house. It'll be here in a week. <laughs> We're good. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not a, I don't have an Amazon account. I'm not an Amazon girl. But um, I've gotten a lot off of Amazon. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like it. I love it. The lights in half the rooms, I got off of Amazon. Wow. And they were affordable mm -hmm. and they look super cute. They come with the remote. So if I'm laying in bed at night, click. That's it. It's <laughs> super easy. This one's not an Amazon one, but it's super cute too. I like that. Yeah, this was the same light that's in the condos. She was just running out of some money that week. And um, every time I get my paycheck, I. Uh, just about blow it in a day so yeah, do. yeah it's a lot and it's a lot to to mm -hmm. to furnish as we know mm -hmm. so all right so back we will take them oh so and i'm working here as you can see like in the back you can see during construction so we haven't painted this wall yet but i thought a nice sign at the top here oh, yeah. would look really cool what's becca think I don't know. What, were you thinking a sign up there, back? Yeah, or? I think a sign would look nice up there. I don't know. I was just thinking. I'm just putting just it out thinking. there. Just thinking. And there's the other light that matches. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cute. Is, I yeah. have to look at this. I didn't look at this either. That's fun. She found that light when she was with me in Pennsylvania um, at one of the little stores that sell retail and wholesale. And she's had that for years. Cute. Yeah, and then I lamp. just purchased this for my, my mud room that I was <laughs> going to redesign. But we thought it would match her floor. And this um, was a special piece built by um, Good Intent Farm. He's out of Pennsylvania. Um, even 10 years ago, I'd look at his pieces and go, oh, I, I can't afford them. And I found this um, at a secondhand store, and I, I fell in love with it. And she fell in love with it. So this is a housewarming gift from me to her, and if she doesn't want it, it'll come back to me. So tell me about the floors. Those I bought. What we went to Florida Core, yeah, and we looked at I a lot. I didn't even have the keys for the house yet. But I was like, I know, because it was all rug. I was like, that rug needs to go. And I went to Florida Decor. This was on sale. 
after we looked at many. She was looking at some $8 a square foot. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, if you're gonna go through the whole house with this, we have a budget. And because I said we need to, we needed HVAC in here. We needed plumbers. We needed the electrician. We had uh, a water stain here, so we knew something was going on with HVAC. Um, we needed a gas line, so we knew we had to pull permits. And then she did have things going on with the furnace. Everything has gone through here. The bones are done. Decorating is easy for me. The bones is what she she needed to go through to make sure while everything was open. I mean, the plumbers opened the walls in the bathrooms. You wouldn't know it, because like you're saying, I think it's a little more than three weeks, but even a month ago, you wouldn't know plumbers were in here ripping walls apart, and and we ripped out your toilets. Yeah. You have new toilets, um, and then the tiles. So she did have toilets. She was here for a few nights. Then she's like, I don't have any toilets. I can't, I can't stay, stay here. It's <laughs> like, so well, you're, you're coming back home. So I said, once it's all done, you're not going to think about that part of it any longer. It's, you're going to forget about that. But I said, we need to get the bones right. But then one day she pulled in. She goes, Mom. I go, yeah, what's, what's the matter now? She goes, they're changing my gutters on the house. I go, oh, my God. You my dad me. just wanted to get everything done as soon as possible. I was like, he doesn't tell me these things. He's just like, yup. All the gutters are coming down. We're changing them up. I'm like, all right, sounds good. <laughs> so I think people thought maybe Tim was living here yeah. because he's out doing, helping with the lawn and the leaves to make sure that the neighbors, you know, the neighbors are out cutting their lawns two, three times a week. So um, she's like, I don't know if I can keep up with that and I'm trying to work. So uh, Tim has been here quite a bit. I was like, the bills are out and up around here. <laughs> I was like, it's just me. <laughs> I was like, I gotta pick up a couple extra shifts. Things are gonna be tough for a little bit. But I did get this floor on sale and I love the, I forget the, what the you knots got. on it and the different colors because I was like, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna be doing in the house at the time, but I said if I have dark and light, whatever I put in furniture wise, I think we'll go. Great thinking. So, and you know, and she I love this a mirror. This mirror was supposed to go into one of the condos for industrial. And I, I, for some reason, I couldn't part with it, uh -huh. but she likes it for now. But I thought maybe even like a little peg rack under here or something. There's a lot of walls here and they're, they're high ceilings, but this all needs to be painted again. It's, um, it, it needs a lot yeah, more work just has yeah. the first We're just running out of time. What color is this wall? It's really pretty. Oh, what? It's I'm really pretty. I'd have to look and see what it actually is and let you know. And I, she I picked the know. colors, so I'm off, yeah. I'm off the hook on this one. Like, yeah, gold? I'll have to get you all the colors. It's a very mellow, beautiful gold. Yeah. That's got a great tone, so it's perfect. And in different lighting, it, of course, it looks different. Sure. Mm -hmm. I love it. Thanks. All right, can you keep Shauna? And, oh, tell them about the piece of furniture. It's her first piece she just bought. Yep, I bought this a couple weeks ago when I was out shopping. I saw it and I, I saw the, the little legs on it that match the wheels on the top of the barn door. And I was like, that is perfect. So I was like, yep. But tell I, them exactly where you got it. You didn't get it like at a, a Cardi's or a Jordan's. No, I thrifted it at the Find on 6 in John. I think it's the Find on 6, that or the Thrift on 6 in Johnston, Rhode Island. I saw it and I was like, this is adorable. And it's actually pretty cozy. It doesn't look like it would be, but most nights I come home. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's like on my phone laying in here. It's not bad. It's not bad. So if I do have a bunch of friends over in the kitchen and someone wants to just, you know, relax. So this, this kind of area open already, we've danced in here on Halloween. I mean, it was really empty here, but um, I, I can see us dancing in here while we're oh, cooking. Oh, yeah. Or... Lots of parties. I have a big enough speaker. The neighbors will probably hate me at some point. <laughs> no, I'll be okay. I, hope I won't get too crazy, but... Yeah. And then we had a customer today. Her name's Stacy, and she saw me at one of the stores arguing with Joanne. <laughs> and he, this is a gin basket. And uh, we were upstairs in the store going, oh, I love this basket. This is a gins. And Joanne's like, yeah, I, it is, it's, but it's big. And I go, well, Becca's walls are big. And she's like, she told you not to decorate. I go, but I know, but I think it'll look good with the colors. And um, Stacy was there laughing that day. And um, Stacy's a great customer of ours. And she's just agreed to show her house. I can't wait to go see it. So uh, we'll be visiting that the first week of December. 
and she's making some pineapple ornaments. So I can't wait for her to teach me how to Mod Podge is what she said, or Mod Podge cinnamon and something else. I, I can't wait to do this. Um, but anyway, this is the basket that Joanne and I found um, kind of thrifting at a secondhand store. But even thrifting, I, I think it was still around $80. So when we talk about expense, about decorating, decorating for me is the easy part. I could have decorated this whole house for her in a week, but I would, I would have to rob my own home, my attic, and some of Bumpkins to do it. And I so. don't like as much primitive right, as exactly. you, so we, we argue a little bit. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's all coming, coming along. I, I see it a little more and more each day that I'm in here, or if I'm out thrift shopping and I find something I love. Like that's the fun part for me. So like, I can't let her have all the fun. Like this is my house. I want to decorate it. Exactly. I'm, I'm behaving. Not, she's trying to, she's trying, but <laughs> yeah, it's going to be all right. We're going to be good. I just, I want her to love it. As a parent, you want, first of all, you want them to be safe. You want them to have something affordable, but I want her to come home and say, I love being here and I don't want her to be lonely. And, um, you just, you just want the best for your children. And this is, people have asked me already, how is it with her gone for a week? And I don't do well with change. And people, I don't let people, yes, I'll talk about decorating all day, but I let people know about me a little bit. You're gonna get a piece of me here today. I have two daughters, both daughters. I will build the other daughter a, a house or she'll move or whatever, but this is Becca's now. But Becca's the last one being home. Sam's been gone a very long time. So people are like, how's it going without Becca? I go, it's, it's a change. They're like, is it good or bad? I go, I, I can't tell you. Some days it's good that I'm not going to have the laundry. I'm not going to pick up after her. I'm not going to be on her. But it's a change for me. I haven't been alone with Tim. It's, it's, got, it's 32 years. So we're coming back as be, it's being quiet. So she was gone this week. I was gone in Pennsylvania alone. Tim calls me going, I feel like a single guy here. Like it's so quiet. There's nothing going on. There's a change right now at my home. That's all I can tell you. And yes, I can tell you we're redesigning the whole downstairs and, but a, a child is gone and you know, I'll look at Tim and I'll go, Beck's not coming home tonight. He's like, obviously she's, <laughs> she's at her new home. And I, I have to say it to myself going, She's not calling me to tell me she's going somewhere after work or what time she's coming or she's not coming home. She's going to Brett's house. She's not telling me that. So as a parent, your worry never goes away. So I have to, I have to look at our GPS where I can find her. If you go to text message. Find my iPhone. Yeah. You <laughs> can find, find my friends. <laughs> yeah. So she can find me or, or I can find her. And I, I don't think we'll let that go at this point or we'll ever let it go. And people will, people will say to us, you're too close as a family. Is there such a thing as being too close? I, I don't know, is it good or is it bad? I, I don't know the answers to this. All I know is that this is my family, that this is very bittersweet to me. I want her here, I love this home. And if I spoil her a little too much, then that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> that's it, we'll take them on, Becca. <laughs> oh boy, now we're all crying. We're not crying. Oh boy. So this is my room. And yeah. she picked, she picked almost everything. You can tell them. The bed, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm obsessed with Amazon lately. Yeah. It's just easy for me. I got this piece of furniture about a week or two ago at Burnett Mill Antiques. And I just loved it. Originally it was supposed to be for my bathroom, but it just looks so much better in here. And I think I'll put blankets in. Yeah, you do have a lot of blankets. You haven't even moved the blanket. I got a lot of junk in there right now, this but I don't screws, know where it's going. Yeah, the paint. This, we it's just kind of hit everything. I hit it. It's all hit. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about the green. Remember, I said yeah. I hate green, but she loved green, but she only wanted one wall green. So I said we're gonna make it happen. So the video that you showed last week of John cutting the beam. This is the beam. It's just the top beam. We started here. We, we couldn't do it here. John says, we're going to have to go back to the workshop. First, he said, we're going to do it on a bandsaw. I'm thinking, that's a big, heavy beam to run on a bandsaw. The bandsaw hit one nail inside the beam, and he goes, yeah, you're right. Forget it. So we ended up putting on his big cutting table, and he cut it exactly down in the middle, 
and then the notch in the middle we pieced back together so we pieced it in the middle so it's all one beam but sliced in half and then we just had to cut off maybe two or three inches at the end and then I said well what are we doing to bring this down like to, to kind of finish it off and um, he said let's just try to do like a, a barn look kind of and then we just used the leftover wood to bring it down this is a big wall yeah. um, she's got two closets in here I know it's hard for everyone to see right now but this is the smaller closet and she's just doing t-shirts she's got a, yeah. a plan on what to do here t-shirts and sweatshirts and, and then, then she wanted another barn door but this is a walk-in closet it's kind of, it's a little messy it's a little right messy now. if you want to see it i'll show you <laughs> all right so you know it's a i think it's a pretty good size great size so and we went we took the flooring all the way through so no rug in yeah. there and then i've been arguing with her what we could put here so we slid the door that way so you're not going to touch the light switch. Mm. So remember, you're, you're planning all of this in, in a very quick amount of time. And then Beck's giving me pictures. Mom, this is doors on Pinterest. I want this door. So I'm like, oh, okay, but it's got lighter pieces in it. So here I am in my mind going, how do, how do I build another door and try to find her exactly what she wants? So I said, John, let's slide it this way so she could have a table here or a big picture or we have a plug so you could do a lamp here mm -hmm. so her and I have been kind of arguing we've had a beautiful um I call it like a sofa table with two drawers Joanne fell in love with it Beck's like I don't want black so we're arguing about black this was a couple weeks ago the first things trip to changed. Pennsylvania things have changed <laughs> and boom someone came in the bumpkins and said oh I love that piece and they took it Becca actually knows the customer and they're loving it and i'm just like becca that piece would have looked good here but i want her to love it it's but joanne loves black when we went to joanne everything was black but becca we're just working on this bathroom now so they just put the tile in here which i love the color of the tile and i originally didn't love how big the pieces are but i thought it's a big bathroom so it's going to be okay i got it on sale everything i got at a good price so I was like yeah can't go wrong and if I love the color I'll learn to love everything else about it eventually these were my dream little shelves that John built for me which I'm thinking big baskets underneath for laundry things like that we haven't found anything to decorate with the top top because that'll just be for decoration so I said, we're not rushing it. We'll find it when we find it. And then after we put the shelves up, the whole trim of the bathroom window was white and none of us liked it. So I looked at John, he looked at me, he goes, do you want me to rip it off and I'll just build it for her? And I said, yes. And we went on, it's called an angle. It's either an 11 degree angle or a 14 degree angle. And we have to get it just right or I make John take it down. <laughs> and redo it. And redo it. And this happened in the kitchen. And John goes, you want me to take it down and recut it? I go, yeah. And he goes, well, it'll be too short. Then I go, then I go back to the house and I find another piece of wood. And John had to wait. And I went back to that old house and I ripped her another piece of wood to get the right length and the angle. So this, she had to learn that this stuff takes time. And then she gave me a picture of this vanity she wanted with a vessel and then I, I have to create this with John to get her a wood top and then I stained it all for her and I rounded the edges and I haven't sealed it yet I ran out of time yeah I wasn't so, loving the granite tops that I was seeing I was like I kind of want the wood right so um we stained it right out here in her garage and I think it's going to look really nice with the black yeah I'd like to see a, a bigger handle here to, to give it some pop mm -hmm. Um, but then we, we couldn't find the right faucets. Me and Becca are running the Lowe's, Home Depot. They were all too short. All too short. Couldn't, couldn't get it over the vessel. So I had this sitting for the condos, and they discontinued them <laughs> at Lowe's and Home Depot. So I had them sitting, so I just happened to have it. And people were like, you're very lucky. Your mom's mm -hmm. got stuff sitting, and you got the right guys that can come and create this. Because this isn't happening in a month. And it was so lucky that the guys had a break 
all of them could come over here. Even the plumbers, like, mm -hmm. I'm pretty busy. And then I think Tim mentioned, well, we did give you 10 or 12 houses to build. <laughs> you know what? We're going to fit that in for your daughter. This is your <laughs> daughter's house. We're coming in. Be there. So um, everybody just came in and did it. And um, the vanity that, um, not the vanity, the, the medicine cabinet, I picked her up the old one in her bedroom there, but I don't know. She, this is kind of growing on her. Maybe we'll No, pick. it's not. It's just like it's something to use right now. I have to fill things with the stuff but I, think I you own. you like the cubbies and stuff versus the old look. I mean, I could paint it black. We could change out the little knob handles on it and I don't make know. it so into something gonna, different. She's going to decide know. on that. I can't decide on anything lately. There's too much. There's too many rooms to pick things out for. I was getting so overwhelmed. I'm like, I don't know. Because I look at pictures and you're like, yeah, I love it. But then once you start putting it all together, you're like, do I? Do I want this for a long time looking at me in, in a room? Or the, the Pinterest that she gave me, I kept looking at it for hours. The windowsill came down this low. So the baskets were like 14-inch baskets. I said... Becca, your window's up higher. I'm not bringing the shelf down here. It's not gonna look right. I said, you're gonna either go with big baskets and then the picture she gave me, you didn't have all that room. I go, we could put another piece of furniture here. Mm -hmm. We could do all sorts of things here. She's just very lucky. We're fitting three people in here like it's nothing. She could have a bathroom party in whoop, here. Whoop. So what I'm thinking here, since that piece didn't work, she needs to go with a taller hutch here. A skinnier, taller hutch. Mm -hmm. She can still decorate, put a big basket at the top. Towels. She, but towels. she doesn't have a closet in here. Yeah. So this is where I keep coming back to that cabinet. So she's got so many possibilities in this house. I call it the clean slate. I'm more excited about this than I am the bones. And now that all this is done, I just got to make sure she likes what I can find for her and as we go. And all the customers have been calling, are you showing fall? Are you going to do Christmas? I, we just got mattresses and yeah. we're just <laughs> My mattress your... for this room just came in yesterday. So I was yeah. like, oh, I'm so lucky. At least I have a mattress. Toilets. Yeah, and the just toilets the... just came in. Yeah. It's taking time, but it's, it's getting there. I think it's taking a while, but really a month is no time at all. Like this has gone fast. So I think that stressed me out to make decisions. I was like, oh, because I want to have Thanksgiving here. I was like, we got to get going. We have things to do. We, we don't have pots and pans. so we're, I we're... did order them. Amazon. I'm telling you. <laughs> they have everything. Good girl. Yeah. So, Good yeah, girl. it looks like uh, we might be coming here for Thanksgiving. That's exciting. So, um, any, I, any... Might, I might burn the food. It might not be great, but we'll all be here together. So, And do you, you have any questions for back that you're thinking of or... Or we could go back out in the kitchen and we could go back out. Okay. This light, one of them, Amazon. Oh, that's Amazon too. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Clock. Where'd you get the clock? Why don't you tell her back? Where did you get the clock? Because originally I didn't want the clock in here. No. I told her I didn't like, did you, you got that in Pennsylvania, right? I did. Um, it was very affordable and I said, you need a clock, so why don't we just do it for now? And if you don't like it, I'll just take it back to the store. I wasn't in love with it, but now that it's been up there a couple days, I think I'm starting to like it. So we'll keep it for now. <laughs> I'm not going to bring anything else in until she says, let's do it together or we'll go hunting together. Yeah, it's just going to take me time to find the things I love and fill it. I know she wants to fill this whole place up, you know, tomorrow, but... I just want to find things that I really look at and go, yeah, I can see that in my house. But what something might look like in my attic, like Samantha was telling you, Beck, this might look very different in your home. So it might be trial and error. We take mm -hmm. it, we try it. If not, it goes back in the car and it goes back home because she's on a budget. You know, it's, it's a lot to fill here. Mm -hmm. So I'm not in a rush. It'll all come together. I have my whole life here now, so... And it's beautiful. Thank and you. Thank you for inviting us. Of course. <laughs> you can come back anytime. You will. And next actually. time I'll actually have it decorated. Yes. We didn't expect it to be decorated yet. Yeah. We, it, but, but it's very decorated, really. Let's yeah. Really. Yeah. For, for how long I've been in here, it, yeah, it's yeah. filled up for yeah. sure. Well, we will be back, people. Thank Can't you. Wait. Thank you. Too. You're welcome. <laughs>